In the videos we've done so far, we've been looking at the general solution to second order differential equations. We're now going to look at finding a specific solution to a differential equation when we're given boundary conditions or initial conditions. So what we've got here, it says find the solution subject to the given boundary conditions for each of the following differential equations. So we've got here d2y by dx squared plus 2dy by dx is equal to 12e to a 2x. If you've seen all of the videos before, you've got some experience with these, you'll be able to solve this and we can find a general solution to this equation. That general solution is in the form now of a complementary function plus a particular integral. We know that we can get the complementary function by solving the second order differential equation d2y by dx squared plus 2dy dx is equal to zero. That will give rise to the following auxiliary equation. That will give us m squared plus 2m is equal to zero. If we factor, we'll get m and then m plus 2, and that's equal to zero. So we can say m is equal to zero or m is equal to negative 2. Consider now that our complementary function will be now a e to the 0 x plus b e to the negative 2 x. So this is our complementary function which we could write of course now as a plus b e to the minus 2 x. That right there is our complementary function. For the general solution, what we need to do now is find the particular integral. So consider we've got the form ke to the 2x. So my trial function, what we'll try now is the following. We will have y is equal to pe to the 2x, where p is just a constant. Remember, this is lowercase p rather than capital P. And then what we'll have now is dy by dx will be equal to 2 p e to the 2x. The derivative of dy by dx is d2y by dx squared and that will now give us 4 p e to the 2x. So we can now find the particular integral from this. If you're not cool with that please do check the previous videos. We've got now one of these and two of these. So what we can say is the following. We can say 4 p e to the 2x. So 4 p e to the 2x plus what's that going to give us two lots of two which is going to be plus 4p e to the 2x will be equal to the right hand side of this differential equation which will be 12e to the 2x. So what does that leave us? That leaves us now 8p is equal to 12. So 8p is equal to 12. Dividing both sides we can say that p is going to be equal now to 12 over 8 and we can take now a common factor out of that one of what's going to come out of that one four so we'll end up with three over two so complementary function particular integral now is going to be so particular integral will be three over two e to the two x so general solution now general solution is going to be uh, and we'll put it like so we'll set y is equal to a plus b e to the minus two x plus 3 over 2e to the 2x, where a and b are arbitrary constants. We can find the value of these constants a and b by using the initial or boundary conditions. We've been given the boundary conditions y is equal to 2, and dy by dx is equal to 6, uh, dx equal to 6, and so x is equal to 0. The way I like to set about this is to write it as follows. I like to uh, write my um, y here. So y is going to be equal to 2. x is going to be equal to 6. And then what we got is dy by dx will be equal. Uh, so x is naught, isn't it? It's dy by dx is 6. And now we can put these in. So x is naught. Let's put naught in instead of 6. Because that's going to lead us on a... A bit of a, a long run. Um, so there we go. What I'm first going to do is simply take our general solution and consider when y is 2 and x is 0. When y is 2, we're going to have 2 is equal to a plus b e to the 0. Okay, think 0 is going in here. 2 lots of 0 is 0 plus 
3 over 2 e to the 0. So quite clearly on this, what we can see is 2 is equal to a plus b plus 3 over 2. Therefore, what I can say, and I'll call this equation 1, we can now say equation 1, what are we going to have? We're going to have 1 half is equal to a plus b. Now, we've got this equation. We can find now a second equation and have simultaneous equations by taking the derivative. So if I take the derivative now, what we'll have is dy by dx will be equal to, consider differentiating a will be 0, then we're going to have minus 2b e to the minus 2x. So minus 2b e to the minus 2x. And then differentiating this right here, we're going to have plus, what's that going to give me? 3e to the 2x. If we now say that dy by dx is going to be equal to 6, so left-hand side is equal to 6, and in this case we know x is naught, so we can say we're going to get t minus 2b e to the 0 plus 3e to the 0. Therefore, 6 is going to be equal to minus 2b, and then we're going to get plus 3. Subtracting 3 from both sides, 3 is equal to minus 2b, and then b will be equal to minus 3 over 2. So b is equal to minus 3 over 2. We can take that information and plug it straight back into equation 2. So what we end up with then, if b is equal to minus 3 over 2, we're going to have 1 half is equal to a minus 3 over 2. Adding 1 and a half to both sides, 2 is going to be equal to a. We've now found the value of our constants a and b. So we can plug these back in to get the specific solution. And we can write the specific solution now as y is equal to, we've just found a is 2. We found that b is going to be now negative 3 over 2. So we end up now with negative, uh, negative 3 over 2 e to the negative 2x. And then we've got plus 3 over 2 e to the positive 2x. And that right there is the specific solution given the boundary conditions. So just another step on, but in all reality, it's not an awful lot more work. Some get a bit um, tedious in terms of the derivatives and the simultaneous equations, but essentially it's all skills that we're just bringing together now.